Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video and today we've got a Q&A with Ebstick goalkeeper Harry Palmer. So guys, if you are new, make sure to like and subscribe, make sure to smash the notification bell and make sure to comment below if you want me to do any other Q&As with any other players. So the first question I asked him was who is his inspiration for being a goalkeeper? Um, biggest inspiration for me growing up was uh, was probably Iger Casillas um, was number one for for Real Madrid at such a young age, and obviously his national team as well, and and, and had great success in in both, um, and also just the longevity in his career um, from such a young age. I think it was eighteen, nineteen to be number one at a club like Real Madrid. Um, so obviously continue that on to well into his thirties, and the, the success he enjoyed as well. So. Biggest inspiration for me was, was definitely Iger Casillas. The next question I asked him was, how's he doing during this time in lockdown? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been very difficult, the lockdown. Um, not being able to do things we enjoy, even the small things like popping to the shops and, and just having a look around and just and just sort of being busy. Um, football was, was obviously a massive part of my life every day and, and not being able to do that. Um, it is hard. You just sort of try and manage as best as you can. Obviously, everyone is in the same boat, and and that sort of gets you through it. Um, you know, going over the park and and doing little bits and pieces, and and just just keeping as fit as I can in the situation. Um, you know, and uh, and as a goalie, it's difficult, but you know, you you've got to you've got to do as uh, as best you can in this uh, extremely tough time to um, to. To make sure that we come back, because we will come back, and, and as fit as I possibly can, um, ready to hit the ground running for, for the next season. So the next question I asked him was, who is the greatest player he has ever played with or played against? Um, probably um, the player that had, has had the best career so far growing up would probably be um, when I played against him as, a, as an under-16 at the time. Um, he obviously was at MK Dons, was Delhi Alley. Um, he wasn't the best player um, that I remember playing against that season. Um, from what I remember, um, he was very small, and and um, you know at the time there was a lot of lads that were physically a lot a lot more developed than he was. Um, but it was uh, yeah probably Dilly Alley. Uh, I think he was about fifteen, sixteen at the time, and um, he's uh, obviously gone on to to do very well playing champions league finals and and world cups and 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 represented the country so yeah i would say delhi ali is probably the um one of the best players that that i've ever played against so the next question i asked is if he wasn't become a goalkeeper what position would he play sort of fell into playing in goal by um a lad that played for for my local sunday team at the time got injured and i was a striker um, I wasn't really playing much and uh, I said, well, the manager was like, do you want to play um, a full game in goal? So I said, OK, we was a bad side. We used to lose every week and um, went in goal and we won 1-0 when I saved the penalty. Um, I, think I was seven then and, and I've stayed in, there, stayed in goal ever since. Um, if I didn't play in goal, I'd like to be a striker. Um you know, I've gone from one extreme to the other, stopping them. Um, and then, you know, I'd like to, to score them. I think um, two different types of pressures. But yeah, definitely, if I didn't play in goal, I would, uh, I'd fancy myself as a bit of a striker, to be honest. And the last question I asked was, what should we do in the National League season? For me personally, um, I believe the league should be null and void. There's too much football to be played to predict how the season is going to end um, in a mathematic formula. Um, you know, there's, there's too many um, ifs and buts with the remaining games um, and the pressures that come with playing in those sort of games towards the end of the season. So I think we need the season to be ended in a null and void um, as there's just too many um, ifs and buts with the remaining games. And I think you're going to upset some people and please others. But I think that's the fairest way across the board for um, for the season to be ended. So, yeah, thank you, Harry, for coming on and doing a Q&A with me. And one more thing you would like to say is... Make sure you like and subscribe to Ben Brown's YouTube account. 
Thanks for watching.